Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, what's wrong with consequentialism? Now, of course, to answer a question like this, we first need to know what consequentialism is. Consequentialism is a moral theory where the morality of an action is judged solely on the basis of its consequences. For instance, if Bob breaks into someone's house and makes off with their wallet, but in the process uncovers evidence that leads to an evil conspiracy being overturned, the consequences of Bob's action are good. So on consequentialism, Bob's action would be a good action. Some people say that this makes everything too hard to figure out, that actions become no longer good or evil, but just methods to use in trying to reach specific consequences. Others think the whole process involves all sorts of methods of trying to predict what consequences will result from what actions, and that this overcomplicates morality unnecessarily. Those are some reasons why people reject consequentialism. Also, there's the problem of some consequences being good and others being bad, which sometimes happens. What do you do then? Is the act still good? Do you need to try to figure out what the balance of good to bad outcomes was to determine whether the act was good or evil? That does seem to make things very complicated, and I can totally understand why someone would reject consequentialism based on that alone. Not me, though. I've never rejected any belief based on its complexity. My problem with consequentialism is that it's impossible. The whole idea of consequentialism is that we should judge things good or bad based solely on how things turn out as a result. However, we can't ever know the full consequences of our actions. We just can't. We're only human. So, since we can never know the full consequences of our actions, on consequentialism we could never know whether an action was good or bad to do. That's just not a moral code that anyone can live by. It doesn't work, even in theory. Next, can human rights be based on society or governing bodies? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.